Come here, cutie pie. Hey, look who it is. Oh, it's a good girly. Yes, you are. This is my neighbor. This is my favorite Hi. neighbor. Hi. Hey, guys. My name is Boris. I'm a physician assistant. Got a pre-PA question here from somebody with a pretty low college GPA, a lower science GPA, and they're, uh, they just got accepted into a post -bac program. They're thinking if that's going to make them competitive for PA school. So I'm just going to read the question really quickly and just kind of riff on it, uh, give you the answer that I gave them as a YouTube comment, and also just a few more details, okay? So the question goes, I have a 2.75 GPA, I'm assuming cumulative GPA, with a 2.35 science GPA. I just got accepted into a post -bac program, and I'm on the journey to becoming a PA as well, but I'm unsure if I will be able to raise my GPA high enough or if a certificate, so the post -bac certificate, will allow me to be competitive enough for PA school. Any thoughts? And then this person also said they've been watching my content since 2021 um, and seeing me become a PA has been very motivational. So first off, thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. This is definitely a passion project. It doesn't really pay me a whole lot. So, I mean, I definitely enjoy helping people. So seeing comments like this uh, just really makes it worth it. So definitely thank you for acknowledging the work that I put into this channel and the help that I provide. So thank you for that. Second, the answer that I gave this person, which is a public comment on YouTube, is uh, that's awesome. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I said, postbacks are tough. If you get an excellent GPA, and I mean like 3.7 plus excellent, in post back uh, and apply to schools that focus on the last 60 credits and you also make a personal connection with the admissions office of that pa school or the pa schools that you're interested in then you might be okay it's really really tough to make up for such a low gpa especially such a low science gpa okay so that is kind of a problem i'm not going to sugarcoat it i would definitely contact some admissions offices and get on the radar as well as doing as well as possible in your post back so those are really the only two things you can do. You can get a master's. You know, I just had a consulting session with somebody who got a MPH, a master's of public health master's, and they did very, very well in that, but their undergrad GPA was not so good. So, I mean, maybe that's an option for you. Uh, me personally, I prefer uh, undergrad classes because they can boost your GPA. In CASPA, your undergrad and your master's classes are separate, so your undergrad GPA will still be low even if you do well in your master's. Holly, you wanna get on video? Hey, look who it is. She heard you talking and she... Come here, cutie pie. She hey, look who it is. Oh, it's a good girly. Yes, you are. This is my neighbor. This is my favorite Hi. neighbor. Hi. That's Holly. That's the best neighbor. And her mom, Diane. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just recording a quick video. You are so cute. You are such a good girl. Yes, you are. She, we were in her backyard and she heard you talking and she was just like... She just wanted to say hi? She wouldn't let me alone. Yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah, I heard her barking. I was thinking of going to say hi to her. Well, I had to do my side job, Holly. I had to record a video. What's so? You are so cute. What are you doing? You're gonna knock me over. I know. That would be really funny. She's really capable. Yeah, I bet she's a big girl. You're a big girly. Are you cat people or dog people? I'm a dog person. Hey, there's a kitty. Who's that? Is that Paris? Oh, who's that? Paris? Yep. Oh, there she is. All the animals. <laughs> three colors. That's female. Interesting. Three colors means female, Holly. Yeah. Look at that cat. Look at this cat. She's so silly. Anyway, okay, so what I think I was talking about was the difference between undergrad and then grad GPAs. So CASPA separates them. So even if you do like a 4.0 in your graduate program, uh, if you have like a 3.0 in your undergrad, the school is still going to see that 3.0 in undergrad. And so they may or may not have a problem with that. I've seen some people who did poorly in undergrad have a good graduate GPA, and then that was fine. And some people that was not fine. So it's just very program specific. That's why I always say, especially if you have a low undergraduate GPA, and I'm talking like 3.3 or lower, you should probably do as well as you can to make a personal connection with at least one, preferably several PA schools admissions offices. Get on their radar in some way, shape or form. Use a personal connection, email them, stop by personally. That's what I did. I just kept pestering them until they would meet with me. And then I kept meeting with them and it just worked out. Uh, Ask them some questions, some innocuous question about your GPA or about your application or about a course that you're taking some way, somehow get on their radar, make a personal connection with them. Some of them will just not talk to you. Some of them will, but you just won't jive. You just got to try as hard as you can to make that personal connection because that is the one thing that may make the biggest difference if you happen to have a low GPA to get you into PA school. All right. 
Hopefully that helps. I'm going to edit out some of the dog interaction back there, but not all of it. So enjoy Holly's cuteness also in this video. That's a bonus. No extra charge. See you guys in the next video.